I started, I had an interest in bees when I was very, very young. And um, it's interesting because I just uh, recently found out that um, it's been said that bees choose you, you don't choose the bees. So I guess they chose me at a very young age for some reason. And it was something that I was going to do uh, or that I had planned on doing. I retired, but um, just a couple years ago, um, I decided, no, I've got to get into it now. The, the, uh, the, that bug was in me, that passion was in me, so I needed to, to do it, and uh, it's been very, very interesting. Um, last year, my, my first year, my first full season, uh, my bees did die on me, <coughs> but um, since then, I've joined the Durham Beekeepers Association, and uh, you know, a lot of knowledgeable people there. And they were quick to tell me a good reason why my bees didn't survive that winter. Um, but uh, so this year, I took other precautions that they mentioned, and as well as been doing quite a bit of my own research as well um, on heating a hive over the winter time, and. Um, so right now, my, my bees apparently seem to be doing quite well. How, how would one get into beekeeping? Like, if they were to want to start up a beehive? Um, probably the best thing is to check in your area on the internet uh, for um, a bee association that might be in your area. So you can just type in uh, Ontario Bee Association or uh, Bee Association for Durham and there's usually something that comes up. Is the cost uh, to start a beehive low, or like what would what's the cost associated with the uh, yeah, and it, the equipment? It, it's it's fairly high. Once you it, you know they say that it's pretty much it starts at around three hundred dollars, but that's basically the start of a of a colony and your first piece of woodenware. Yeah. But then once you have honey, then you have to extract the honey. So you need a machine for that, and uh, well, you don't need a machine, but it's a lot faster. And, more and then there's bottles, and then you, there's feed for the bees, and you have to uh, medicate the bees, and there's stuff that you have to do in the winter time to wrap the bees to keep them warm. Just, yeah, exactly. Well, I, th I do believe that after you're in it, after a couple seasons, you end up with a lot of. Uh, stuff that you that is an investment so you don't have to keep buying the same stuff some things but 